the first lady, Michelle Obama. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm so happy. I'm glad this is behind us. This was a, a such a huge election, and it, it took a lot out of all of us. But you know what? It was, I think, even more important yes. than 2008, because I think we entered this victory in a, a much more sober way mm-hmm. than we did in the past, sort of understanding that, as the president has said, change is hard, and it's going to require us to be vigilant and, and focused. But I, I, I wanted to call in because I wanted to say thank you to you, to your listeners, to a community of people who stepped up and listened and uh, discussed and voted. And, and, and I mean this no matter who they voted for. We're, we're not here to celebrate a victory. We're here to get work done. How about that? And, and just to put it in perspective, I mean, yes, there's another four years, but in uh, two and a half of those, the next election That's will right. start. You know, so we're talking about two, two and a half years to really get a lot of things done. Uh, So we just don't have time to pat ourselves on the back. There's so much work that we have to do with education, with women's rights. I mean, those things Mm -hmm. people need to understand are still on the table. And those are big issues. And that's why uh, this election was sobering, this entire campaign, because I think there were a lot of women uh, my age and older who really kind of took for granted our basic rights of choice and access to preventative care, basic things. We thought those fights had been fought and won. Our right to vote, um, right. we assumed, was sacred. Um, but as we learned, is that if we sit on these rights, if we take them for granted, if we don't fully exercise them and protect them, someone is waiting to snatch them back. So I think we will get to a point in time in our country's history where those issues are, are, are settled, but we're just not there yet. And that means that we have to stay focused. Um, and focus in this country means that we have to be informed and we have to vote as we did in this election. And that's why your voice, your, your show is so important. And, you know, it's one of the reasons why the work that you have did to register voters in a lot of the battleground states and, you know, all the work you did on Election Day and hosting Election Night at, at Morgan State University, all of that is so critical because people are listening to you. You have access to ears that we don't even have every day. But shows like yours, really, you take the time to break it down in a way that, that really makes sense to folks. And I love you for it. And I appreciate and I you. I appreciate you for that. And thank you for taking the time to call me and speak to our listeners. And happy holidays to you and the family. And, and Keep the good work up. we got a long way to go, and we don't want to sleep during the midterms either. So thank you so much, First Lady. Yes, indeed, and happy holidays. Take care, and we'll be talking soon. Same to you. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.